I am going to talk about 3D plots and mesh grids. So this is stuff that we need um, for a lot of different things. And you forget it. And so I forget it. So I'm making a video. So let's just start off with Python right here. Uh, I'm going to import NumPy. And some people call it NumPy. And that's fine. I call it NumPy because I think it's funny. Uh, import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt. You know, there was a funny cartoon somewhere that said, you know, people import numpy as something other than np and they're like, uh, you know, deviants or whatever. I think that's funny. It was a funny joke. And you get it, right? And you can use whatever you want for that, but 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 be careful. You're trying to be funny and cute and all that stuff, but it's going to come back to get you when you don't use the standard stuff. I'm just saying. Okay. Let's make um, some, some variables x and y, some arrays. Uh, I'm going to say a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, and then I'm going to make an, uh, and then n is equal to, let's say, 10. Uh, x equals np dot lin space. I have a tutorial on these numpy cheat cheat things. Remember how to use lin space. 0 to a, n plus 1. So uh, if you, I'll go ahead and show you this. Let's just do this as n, and then I'm going to print x, and I'll show you why you don't want to do n. So this has 10 numbers. This goes makes a, an array of x values from 0 to a, and it makes 10 of them. But if you do that, and if you have uh, including the 1 and the, the 0 and the 1, then you're going to have weird spacings over here. If I change this to n plus 1, I have 10 intervals. And with 10 intervals, I get nice spacing, right? Which is what I probably wanted in the first place. 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. OK. Now let's do the same thing for b or for y, y is np dot lin space 0 b n plus 1. And it could be a different number of things. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Now, what if I want to do a three-dimensional plot? Um, a three-dimensional plot, you know, if I print x and y, that's cool and all. And I could plot x and y, but then I just have x and I have y. But if I have a, a three-dimensional plot, I need a whole bunch of x and y values. I need them all paired up. I need 0 with 0, but I also need 0 with 0.2, 0 with 0.4, 0 with 0.6. I need all those combinations, right? Think about a graph paper. And so we can make that with what's called a mesh grid. So here's how to do it. I, I'm going to use new variables. I'm going to use capital X and capital Y for my mesh grid, variable, grid variables. X comma Y equals np.meshgrid. And again, you know I'm not a programmer, right? I'm just figuring out stuff, and this is a, a note to me. I'm not doing this the best way. I'm doing it the way that works for me. And I need to give it my x and y variables, and then I'm going to print out uh, x, and I'm going to print out y. And I'll show you how that works. And this is a small set, but that's fine. So here are my x values. I have 0 to 0.1, and then 0 to 0.1 like that. Right, so I have my x values, but they repeat. Now the y values, I have 0 to 2, because I had a different size, 0 to 2, 0 to 2, this way, and they repeat. So now when I match these two up, I get all the possible combinations, and that's pretty nice. And we can use that to make a plot, and that's what we're going to do. So let's make uh, a function to plot. Um, I'm just going to make up something. Let's say f equals np dot sine of x times np dot cosine of y. I don't even know what that means. But this is really cool, right? Because I can use x and y as variables as, as though they were arrays, and it gives me all the values of f. Let's just go ahead and print out f, and you can see what that looks like. See, isn't that cool? I mean, it gives me an, a, a grid of spaces. I mean, it's just boosh. Trying to do this manually would just be uh, really not trivial. Okay, so now, but what if I want to plot f versus x and y? I want to make my 3D plot. Well, let's, let's do that. It's not hard. I'm going to do it. plt dot con, no, I always spell it wrong, contour. I need to give my x values, my, my y values, and my plot values. And that's it. There you go. There's my plot, 3D plot. It's a contour plot. Okay, now... I like contour F better. Contour F looks like this. It fills in between the lines. So remember, a contour plot, this, is, this line, everything on F is equal value. 
everything along this line has an equal f value. Everything along this line has an equal f value. But then when you fill it in, it just it just essentially makes an infinite number of, of plots. That looks pretty good. Okay, uh, let's do this too. Uh, plt dot color bar, and now it gives me the numerical value for f for the colors, right? So this color is 0.9. Uh, this color over here is ne is a negative. No, it's just 0.45. Okay. Um, now I could also go up here, and if I this has just a finite number of spacings, but I can change that. Uh, I like levels, not levels. Levels equals 20, and then you can write. It. And of course, there's a whole bunch of other things you can put in labels on your x-axis. I guess I should do that. Um, I can put a label right here label equals f so it has that f uh, and then i can do plt dot was it x label x yep that was it i forget these things uh, plt dot y label y and now i have a pretty nice graph right there and i'm pretty happy let's just try something up here let's say uh four times x there, that looks cool. Okay, so there you go. Um, mesh grids, two-dimensional plot, three-dimensional plotting. Now there is a three-dimensional surface plot that you can make. I find it's kind of convoluted to make. This gives me what I need and it's super easy to make. I don't have to do a lot of extra stuff. Uh, so I don't wanna do things that give me extra. I need to get the information, right? I need to, to get what I wanna get and I can get what I want from here. So I'm gonna make the contour plot. Okay, hope that helps. If you have any questions about Python, I probably don't know the answer, um, but you can ask. I may have a video on some other stuff. That's that.